<laughs> we are very curious to hear your home. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody curious or is it just you guys? Everybody. Okay, <laughs> you, you may want to warn these guys before we go. Um, <laughs> So the, the howling is, is like a long range form of communication for, for myself and the wolves. Um, it's, I would liken it in, in our society, in human society, like us picking up a, a phone and calling a friend or a, a loved one. So we can communicate over great distances using the howling. Um, 10 miles away in open ground, um, five to six miles in dense forest area and wolves will actually relay messages from one another um, if they need to. This is a very effective way that we communicate. Each wolf has its own identification howl that's unique to them, so we can tell male, female, what the position they are, young, old, sick, injured, all from that communication. Um, so the howl that I will do for you now will be um, what we call a protector, enforcer, a very powerful, very strong animal that's used as a, a guardian to the other wolves. So if there's danger, this animal goes forward and puts itself between them and the danger. So it's a, it's a fighter, basically. So it's got a very powerful howl. Um, and what we'll say is um, a basic kind of um, come to me. Okay, you ready for that? <laughs> Mm-hmm.